Okay, let us talk about question number 47. Let f from minus half to 2 to r similar for g be functions defined by f x equals greatest integer x square minus 3 and g x equals mod x f x plus mod 4 x minus 7 into f x. Then which of the following is r correct? We have to talk about the continuity discontinuity of f and non-differentiability of g. Function f x is given to me greatest integer x square minus 3 x is lying in the interval minus half to 2. If I try to trace the curve y equals x square minus 3, the parabolic part I can trace it in this fashion. For the interval minus half to 2, we can see it goes like this. The maximum value is obtained as 1 while the minimum is obtained as minus 3. Right. So, we can see the values, the integral values for the term x square minus 3 are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. On substituting these values for x square minus 3, we get corresponding values for x as 0, 1, root 2, root 3 and 2. Now, out of these 5 points, we can see when we check the continuity around the point 0. When x is approaching to 0 from left or right, it is going to give me the same result. Hence, this becomes continuous at the point. But for the rest of the 4 points, clearly it will have a jump. So, we can say f is discontinuous at 4 points. Right? So, from the first two options, we can see that B is correct, F is discontinuous exactly at 4 points in the given interval. Let us talk about the next function that is G. Gx is mod x greatest integer x square minus 3 plus mod 4x minus 7 greatest integer x square minus 3. Right? Now, we have to talk about the non-differentiability of this function. We can rewrite this function as just expanding also we can see this one as Right. So, we have to talk about the differentiability or non-differentiability of this function. We can see that the important points 0, 1, root 2, root 3 and in addition 7 by 4. Now, 0 mod x, this is clearly non-differentiable. The other one is differentiable. So, we find that this function becomes non-differentiable at this point, which comes from the jump. Since this is discontinuous, so obviously the function is non-differentiable. So, for these three points, there is no problem. It is non-differentiable. 7 by 4, again we can see when we take the term, this mod 4x minus 7 here, we can see this is non-differentiable while this term is differentiable, hence the function is non-differentiable. So, we can find that the function g is not differentiable at exactly 5 points. So, from the last two options, we can see option d is the correct one. Therefore, b and d are correct. So, this is clear. Okay, let us move to the next one. Okay, let us take the next one that is 48th. Let f be from r to 0 to infinity and g from r to r be twice differentiable functions on r. Suppose f dash 2 equals g 2 equals 0, f double dash 2 is non 0, g dash 2 is non 0. If limit x approaching to 2, 
f x g x upon f dash x g dash x equals 1, then which of the following is r correct. So, starting with this limit part, limit x approaching to 2 f x into g x upon f dash x into g dash x is equal to 1. If I put x as 2, I observe f 2 g 2 upon f dash 2 g dash 2. Since it is given in the question that f dash 2 and g 2 both are 0, so this gives me 0 by 0 form means L'Hopital is applicable. So, this gives me limit x approaching to 2 f dash x g x plus f x g dash x divided by f double dash x g dash x plus f dash x g double dash x equals 1. Checking limit again on substituting 2 we can see that this is f dash 2 g 2 and so on. Since the terms f dash 2 and g 2 are 0 each, so f dash 2 will make this term 0 and g 2 will make this term 0. We will be left with f 2 g dash 2 upon f double dash 2 g dash 2. It is given to me that g dash 2 is non 0 and f double dash 2 is also non 0. So, clearly we have f 2 g dash 2 upon g dash 2 f double dash 2 is equal to 1 or f 2 equals f double dash 2. So, we obtain this conclusion. So, clearly from the given 4 options if we look at the fourth one f x minus f double dash x is 0 for at least 1 x. Yes, it is 0 for at least 1 x because we have seen that it is true for x is equal to 2 at least for one number. Right? Okay. We have to talk about maxima minima at 2. Since the function f has range 0 to infinity, so clearly we can say that f x is positive right f x is positive means f 2 is a positive number means f double dash 2 which is equal to f 2 it is also positive number. So, meaning that f x has a local minima at x is equal to 2. So, this option a is correct b is not f double dash 2 greater than f 2 this is already false because these two are equal. So, here we can conclude that options from the given one a and d are correct right. So, options a and d both are correct. So, this is clear ok let us go for the next one.